Good evening. I'm Maurice Dubois. And I'm Christine Johnson. It was a dramatic moment in Washington as House Speaker Nancy Pelosi announces that she will not seek a leadership post in the next Congress. And this clears the way for what she called a new generation of party leaders, including a name New Yorkers will recognize. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer here now with the story. Marsha. Well, Maurice and Christine, the Washington speculation machine has been in overdrive for months, wondering if Nancy Pelosi would in fact keep her 2018 pledge to limit herself to four more years as her party's leader. And if so, who would follow in her footsteps? She answered the first question today, and sources tell me she's done everything in her power to determine her successor. I will not seek re-election to Democratic leadership in the next Congress. Wearing suffragette white and an apparent nod to the fact that she was the first woman to serve as Speaker of the House of Representatives, Nancy Pelosi said she will leave her leadership post following the November elections, where a series of Democratic losses cost her party the majority. That included four seats on Long Island, then went Republican and helped solidify a party change that will propel California Congressman Kevin McCarthy into the Speakership, second in line to the presidency. Pelosi will remain in Congress. There is no greater official honor for me than to stand on this floor and to speak for the people of San Francisco. Pelosi, who was re-elected to represent her San Francisco district, is expected to serve out the two-year term. But sources close to Pelosi tell CBS2 that she will not seek re-election in 2024. Her decision to step down came after her husband, Paul, was attacked with a hammer in their San Francisco home by an assailant who was actually looking for her. She seemed to tear up as she thanked people for their support and prayers for... My dear husband, Paul. Pelosi, 82, clears the way for a new crop of leaders. For me, the hours come for a new generation to lead the Democratic caucus that I so deeply respect. And I'm grateful that so many are ready and willing to shoulder this awesome responsibility. Sources tell CBS2 she hopes to pass the torch to Brooklyn Congressman Hakeem Jeffries, 52, who has put together a diverse leadership team, Catherine Clark of Massachusetts and Pete Aguilar of California. Jeffries, seen here hugging Pelosi after her announcement, praised her in a tweet as the GOAT, greatest of all time. Political pundit Basil Smichael says Jeffries would not only be the first person of color to lead his party in the House, but also represent a new generation. It's an opportunity for Gen Xers like me to actually be, uh, be reflected in the, uh, in the House leadership. We had a number of octogenarians um, in power for a very long time, and a number of young voters and young leaders were concerned that, you know, they, they wouldn't have an opportunity for leadership, but now they do. Well, California Congressman Adam Schiff was also said to be interested in the job, but sources tell me Pelosi has worked behind the scenes to convince him to run for Senator Dianne Feinstein's seat when she retires. The caucus election will be held before the new Congress convenes in January. Christina Maurice. All right, Marcia, some big news. Thank you.